Hello everyone, my name is Sean Crawford and this is my capstone presentation for MBAD 6990. My company that I chose is Centera Gold. Uh, it's the parent company of my current employer and uh, they're in the gold mining business. So let's get started here. Uh, the agenda that I'll be going through today will be, I'll, I'll give a little bit of a company background. Uh, we'll go into the core values of the company, um, give uh, some details about the competition and their their rival the biggest rivals in, of of Sintera. Uh, we'll look at Porter's five forces. Uh, go into a pest, the Pestel model with uh, some Pestel analysis. Uh, a little bit of internal analysis for the company, uh, the company strategy, um, the corporate social responsibility, and then some recommendations I have as far as strategic uh, issues with the company. Uh, to give a little bit of background, Sintera Gold was founded in 2004, and it's currently headquartered in Toronto, Ontario. It is traded on, on the uh, Toronto Stock Exchange under the stock ticker CG. Uh, it, it recently increased its revenues to $1.2 billion uh, with some with some um, newer acquisitions of, of other gold mining companies that, that it recently took over. Um, it does have two operational gold and copper sites, one in British Columbia named the Mount Milligan Mine, the other in the, other in the Issyk Kul region of Kyrgyzstan in Central Asia, which is known as the Kumtur Mine. It also has several developmental properties, uh, such as the Kames Underground Project in British Columbia, Canada, um, the Aksut Gold Project in Turkey, and a 50-50 partnership with with uh, with the Greenstone Mine project in Ontario. Uh, the core values uh, for Sentara um, are, are carried out through the entire organization um, and it's kind of the basis of, of every decision making, every 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 decision that is made um, and every, all the operational functions that we do. Uh, the first being when as a team, all employees are committed and highly engaged and uh, each members, each team members, rec each team members efforts are individually recognized and everyone is focused on, on, on the results and, and uh, positive results of the company. Uh, be responsible miners. Um, this, uh, we, we strive to meet internal and external regulatory standards. Uh, we have transparency, transparency with our surrounding communities and we, uh, we want to minimize the adverse effects of, of our operations on the environment that, that surrounds us. Uh, the third being strive for continuous improvement. We're, we're constantly looking to increase efficiencies and create positive in economic impact, environmental impact, and social contributions to the, co the communities that, that we currently operate in. Uh, and the final uh, core value will be deliver results. Now we strive for safety, operational excellence, and accountability in everything in all of our operations. And our actions are uh, actions are ethical, environmentally conscious, and safety minded with regards to maximizing our shareholder value. Uh, some competition that uh, that Sintera, um, has in the gold mining industry. Uh, Galani Gold, which is which is also headquartered in, in Toronto, Ontario. This is Sentara's biggest rival, and it also, it, just like Sentara, it has a growth strategy through acquisitions and uh, increasing efficiencies of, of its of its operational mining sites. Uh, Cisco is uh, is another mining company based in Montreal, Quebec, um, and it's really focused on mining royalties. And it's in uh, Cisco's cash position is a lot like Sentara's and. and uh, and that its cash, cash position as of end of 2018 was at 157 million, where Sinteras is just is just ab just above 150. Uh, finally, the 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 third competitor is Shasta Gold Corporation, which uh, it's a privately owned corporation and has mine sites in Nevada and Northern California. It has a bit of a smaller revenue stream just because these these sites that it does run are um, are in the developmental stage. Uh, so they're not fully operational yet, but uh, in, in the next several years, they, they should be coming online. We'll get into uh, Porter's and uh, Porter's five forces and, and of the industry analysis of the gold mining company or corporate or industry. Uh, as far as competition goes, um, this is pretty strong. There are a lot of, of gold mining companies all around the world, and uh, 
the reason for so many gold, gold mining companies is uh, the increased market price, um, which is also a, a, a catalyst for companies to increase production and get into the, to the uh, industry itself. Uh, the potential for new in entrants is, is kind of weak um, just because there's a large there's there's a large investment required before any operation commence um, a lot of permitting a lot of uh, you know environmental regulations to, to, to kind of jump through hoops there um, and there's a big big fight for land obviously the, um, there's no more land being made so um, any anywhere you can get a half decent plot of land with uh, with good gold results or is is come definitely comes at a premium uh, the power of suppliers is strong um, just because there there aren't very many um, mining machinery suppliers in 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 the world uh, you have caterpillar um, you know komatsu uh, companies like that but uh, the machinery is very expensive and has long lead times uh, to get to market. Um, so there's that. And then also, uh, mining operations are very dependent on utilities, especially water and uh, electricity. And um, oftentimes, mine, mine sites are in, in very remote locations, um, which puts, kind of puts the, uh, the pressure on them as far as getting water and electricity to the mine sites. Um, the power of buyers is, is, is weak. Um, with the gold gold supply, gold the the, uh, the annual demand far exceeds the the uh, production possibilities of all of the uh, gold mining companies in the world. So therefore, uh, there's a gap between the supply and demand, which um, uh, which kind of leads to the increased market prices and in the in the sustainability of the high high gold prices. And then finally, uh, substitute products is strong. With with gold, uh, with jewelry being the biggest gold user, which is which is about fifty percent of all gold production goes into jewel, making jewelry. Uh, there are substitutes for that, such as uh, you know sterling silver, platinum, and other precious metals and gems. Um, and technology is another big user of gold. Um, but again, there are other options as far as silver and, and copper with its conductivity uh, uh, properties of, of those two. Uh, more, more on the industry analysis, uh, a little bit of a pastel analysis here. Um, political, from a political background, uh, Sentara is owned, the, the majority of Sentara sh shares are owned by the, the Kyrgyzstan government. And they, so they have a strong influence because the Kyrgyz, the, the Kumtor mine in Kyrgyzstan is, is the, um, highest contributor of the GDP in the country. So therefore, the, the, uh, the, Kyrgyz, the, the Kyrgyz Republic has, has a very high interest in the mine and in the company as well. Um, as far as a social or economic, I'm sorry, economic uh, viewpoint, the demand for, for gold is much, is much higher than supply. So prices uh, tend to stay elevated and they've been consistently above $1,200 per troy ounce uh, for quite some time, um, different demographic or, or for the social for the social aspect of the pastel model, different demographics in different areas cause some problems um, as far as you know the, the the labor force and and not as much access to skilled mining professionals as as um, Sinter would like to see. Uh, for technological, uh, there. This is, this is becoming increasingly popular in the gold mining industry with uh, remote control and GPS controlled um, haul trucks. This is a big safety issue and, and with the, the increased technology in these trucks we can increase safety and decrease the, the possibility for accidents. The environmental aspect is probably the biggest for the, for the uh, gold, gold mining industry. Um, a lot of, of um, regulations, a lot of, of um, you know permitting and things like that uh, water and discharge, water usage and discharging permits are, are very highly regulated in the, in the industry, as well as reclamation for plants for post mining operations. Once the mine is done, um, all mines have to have a, a, a reclamation plan in place in order for to reclaim that land uh, back to its original state. And finally, legal, uh, legal. Uh, the, the company deals with MSHA a lot, which is the mining version of, of OSHA. 
and different companies have different permitting permits and, and, and mining right requirements uh, and again putting a damper on on um, on the company to to kind of abide by these laws internal analysis uh, the strengths of the company um, obviously the market price uh, supply um, is is much less than demand so therefore the, the, the gold production forecast is is high um, weaknesses uh, the Kyrgyz government negotiations um, strong negotiations with the government obviously a uh, a lot of pressure coming from them so so we want to be be sure that we um, we make them happy um, and also water sourcing problems at the at the Mount Milligan mine um, opportunities there's uh, Centera has a cash surplus of 152 million uh, and 641 million in, in liquidity value which which gives a great great um, opportunity for for future investment um, and the gold recovery um, methods for the company can be increased but to uh, to minimize water usage such as amalgamation with mercury to recover the the, the gold out of out of the, the pay dirt um, threats to the company the biggest threat is is obviously the market price with unknown with unknown uh, fluctuations in the market price it's difficult to, to forecast cash flows um, and you know there's no market power due to Sentara's small size relative to the to the industry. Sentara also uh, Im implements a growth strategy. Um, acquisitions uh, to increase its diverse, diversified portfolio. It recently had um, some new acquisitions. Uh, the Thompson Creek Metals Company and Arico Metals uh, both have some uh, late stage um, mines that, that are, are very attractive to Sentara. So they, they wanted to kind of Invest in in a few new development projects and, and uh, in, increase cash flows and, and revenues. Um, again, the same same thing with com the Comes project, the Oxu project, and the Greenstone project. Um, these are all developmental project or properties um, with with high hopes of future um, production. Organizational structure: We have a multi-divisional organization um, which sites operate kind of in their own unique ways. Um, a lot of this is due to the demographics and, and how, you know, we're spread all over the world. So we kind of want to push the, uh, the operations out as, uh, and let the site leaders lead their, their, um, their companies almost independently, but still kind of follow Centera's core values. Uh, Scott Perry, our CEO, is a strong proponent for this. Um, and he, he has uh, just over 20 years' experience in, in the mining industry. And he was actually a former CFO. At Arico Gold, which is a newly acquired company from by Centera. Also, Gordon Reed, our chief operating officer, has uh, a lot of experience um, in the mining industry with with uh, various companies. Social responsibility, and environmental sustainability. Uh, the company has, um, you know, high safety and ethical standards. Um, we have we have uh, very strong employee safety programs, environmental monitoring for things like water discharge, um, and safe and clean discharge of water and air air pollution back into the atmosphere. Also, um, dealing with the Canadian First Nations uh, agreement, it's it's a lot like the the Native Americans in in here in the United States. Uh, agreements must be in place with them before any any operations or infrastructure go in into effect. Um, and also the the um, the First Nations residents are, are given you know employment opportunities by the company. Um, we also do uh, a lot of community fundraisers and donations for local agencies such as fire departments, you know, police departments, uh, things like that. So a lot of giving back to the community. Finally, my recommendations for the company um, with the with the cash the the cash balance that it has. Um, 152 million dollars is is, uh, is is pretty nice as far as you you know a growth growth strategy. Um, it can it can use this money to you know acquire new new properties, um, continue to um, grow the the existing properties, the Kames mine, the Oxute mine, and the Greenstone mine, and also working with the Canadian environmental authorities to increase the uh, the access to water from Mount Milligan. This is a big thing because Mount Milligan actually just signed a, a recent um, 